Hello everybody, I'm Blazer Rebecca, and welcome back to Asagao Academy, the Normal Boots Club, and, uh, huh. I don't know why, I haven't done my room, the lights are off. I flicked them on, and the huddled form of my hugging a stuffed purple bear appeared on her bed. Oh! Hello! I'm back! What, mine? Mine glanced at me, then burned her face again in her barrel. Was she... sulking? It was unlike her to be so ener energetic. Uh-oh. Um, are you okay? I, <clears throat> uh, uh, okay. Humph away. That doesn't sound very okay. My class at me again, her face a light shade of pink, like she was scolding, holding a breath. I almost said scolding there. You know, you can tell me anything. You've told me a lot, so it's the least I can do in return, right? Besides, we're friends. My side and threw the bear on the floor where it lay as if it as if screaming in agony. Jeez, wow. It's not fair. Uh. She sighed again. Um, okay, I'm gonna need more detail than that. I know it's a terrible thing like this, but uh oh. You know what really happened for you? Can you be friends with those guys? It's just not fair. Those guys who the no boots club? Um, okay. Wait. It's just I've been a fan for the, of them for so long, and I've loved Jared forever. And then you came here, come out of the blue with your pink hair, just like, just like that, your friends. She snapped her fingers in front of her face. But I've been, but here I've been trying this whole time, and Jared didn't even know my name. Uh, oh. Uh, I know I'm being stupid, and I feel bad, but I still... My. Uh oh. Uh. Do your friends too? It's understandable. Some friend you are. Oh, don't. And that would be a rude thing to say. It's understandable. They're your friends too. Ah, uh, what? It's either they're your friends too, or, or it's understandable. Cause I want to go with some friend you are. That's so rude. Ah, I'm saved, but I don't know. No, I'll make do with my mistakes. <laughs> my smile weakly at me. Mm. They wouldn't be my friends if it wasn't for you. My, I'm going to sleep. She turned over and closed her eyes without even taking off her uniform. Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna have to live, make do with my mistakes. Well, you know, just what what choices I make. I turned off the light and walked to the bear she threw in the middle of the room. I'm sorry, too. I said it quietly, but even as the words left my lips, I knew they were a lie. No, oh, okay. Despite our slight confrontation last night, my was as peppy as usual the next day. Day. It seemed like there was no reason for me to worry, but that, that didn't mean I didn't. The bell rang and class started. Mishizuka wrote origami flowers on the board in an ornate script, then turned to glare at the class. Well, okay, not just stare, but glare at them. Class? I've forgotten her voice. <laughs> the flower festival is on a few days away. It's time again to start falling flowers to sell for the school. We do this every year, guys. I don't want to hear any groans. You're free to write me an essay on the importance of these tough funds for the school if you'd rather not participate. A few students rolled their eyes, but I smiled. It sounded kind of fun, and I hadn't fallen origami in years. <coughs> I'm hanging out practice sheets because I know how bad you guys are at origami. I'm only going to teach you once, so pay attention. Shizuka returned to the front of the class, picking an ornate green paper. As she instructed the class, I realized that these were the most basic version of origami flowers. I was already familiar with them. I folded my practice paper with ease while Shizuka roamed the room, helping the students who struggled to follow along. These creases are weak! Kindergartners could do better than this! Hell, my ex could do better than this! Oh! Oh! Snap! Sadness passed across Miss Shizuka's face. Okay, burn there, now reminders. Great. <laughs> she turned to the boy next to her and slammed her hand on his desk. Hi. Uh, you need to be better. Be better for everyone's sakes. 
It seemed like quite a few students were having trouble. I went to the front of the class to get some new paper, passing John, John on the way back to my seat. This paper caught my eye. Hey! You followed us the wrong way. Your flower is going to be narrow if you keep going. Uh. I'll be honest with you, Anna. I have no idea what I'm doing. Help me! <laughs> he looked... He kind of looked like he was about to cry. I knelt by his desk, unfolding and refolding his paper. <laughs> oh, jeez. Don't, don't. It's okay. This looks perfect. You're so good at origami. Did you have to make flowers at your old school, too? No, I used to origami a lot when I was younger. I guess muscle memory just kicked in. Thanks, though. Really? Really? One not skill to have. Well, excuse me. <laughs> hmm. uh is it? Please. John claps a hand around my wrist. Stay with me. Help me. Uh. 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 uh sure. If you need it. Yeah. I knew I could count on you. Thank you, Hara. You're a goddess. That. <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely not. I spent the entire rest of the class period slowly doling out lessons to John and PBG. I offered to help Shane, but he turned away from me, instead of watching over John's shoulder. <sighs> ah, great. I kept my movements large and exaggerated so he could see too. It was nice to feel useful. When class was over, I headed back to the dorms with Mai. We had a long night ahead of us, filled with homework and possible reward of chocolate ice cream should we finish on time. Ooh, chocolate ice cream! Before I got far, someone called my name. Who was it? I don't know who it is, so... Hana! Oh! Okay, that was... Why, not quite who was I, I was expecting, eh? <laughs> uh, hi! Jeff? Jeff, is everything okay? Hey, no one's club has me today, and PPG forgot to take his soccer uniform with him. He held up a blue and gold uniform. He won't have much time to change before practice if he doesn't, if he doesn't have this, and I have to run down to the field. Can you take it for me? <laughs> of course we can! Well, I could have answered, but okay. My grab the uniform from Jeff. Awesome, thanks! He dashed towards the field. My turned to me, victory running through her face. Yay! Finally, a chance to see Jared in his element! What are you talking about? <sighs> Come on, Hannah, we gotta hurry! Are you okay? We approached the normal blue club room, hearts thumping nervously. At least I assume Mai's was. Judging by the way she was fishing like a hummingbird on acid, <laughs> it was. Um, okay. That's a very vivid, that's a very detailed uh, description of how to feel. We stepped up to the door and were about to knock when I heard my name on someone's lips. Hey, it's Shan- it's Shane! I don't know. I froze and turned to Mai. Her face was lit, and she pressed a finger to her lips. She leaned in close to the door, and I followed suit. Hmm. Uh, dude, I think it's fine. What do you think she's gonna do to us? You need to calm down. Whoa. No. But so... Pink. No one has to... Dude! You never mention the hair! People can't choose their hair color, Shane. That's a really poor reason to judge someone. Exactly, Shane! Thank you, Satch! I know, but I don't trust people with pink hair. You know there's more to it than just the color, don't deny it. Wow! Okay, another- Okay, now I'm starting to not like Shane so much. Weird things always happen around people with pink hair. How the hell would you know, Shane? Like, I mean, seriously? Ugh. Sure, but they're not dangerous. Thank you, PPG. Hmm. Aren't they? <laughs> My heart sank. I stepped away from the door, unwilling to hear more. Oh, no. <sighs> nice job, Shane. You messed up. I held on my hand and shook my head. Just when I thought I was beginning to win Shane over. <sighs> how Was this how he truly felt about me? <sighs> I'm heading back. I stepped past her, walking as quickly as I could back to the dorms. Luckily, I didn't pass anyone on my way back. I didn't think I could manage small talk without bursting into tears after what happened. I kicked
kicked off my shoes and went to set my backpack down by my desk, passing the mirror. <sighs> Fucking shame, man. I paused as I did so, turned to the mirror, evaluating myself on a whole new level. So much grief. My hair caused me so much grief over the course of my life. Now, for some reason, Shane thought I was suspicious. <sighs> I soon moved my hair with my hands, the shortness of it catching me by surprise. It was softer when it was long. Oh. Huh. With a sigh, I turned away and collapsed onto my bed, hugging Mr. Bunny to my chest. Should I dye my hair, Mr. Bunny? I, you should confront Shane and tell him to just take a hike. I raised him up, staring into his glassy eyes. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. I rolled onto my side, squeezing Mr. Bunny to my chest. Such said himself, you don't choose your natural hair color. Mr. Bunny was small against me, and I smiled at him. At least he still liked me. Shaking my head, I went to my desk. I had better things to do than mope. You're still studying, Hannah? I took my headphones out of my ears and turned them on. Our plans for that evening were postponed, and I silently thanked her for not pushing me to keep to them. I wasn't in the mood anymore. Yeah, it's only been a few hours. You haven't moved since I left the room last. She climbed her bed and dangled her hands off the side. At least take a break, okay? Well... I have been meaning to return the, to return the book I checked out. It was overdue and I had to do it at some point. I was gonna do it today. But that was, after what happened, it was the last thing I wanted. That didn't make it any, make it any less overdue, though. True! Uh-huh. Go do that. Meet me at dinner afterward. If you're gonna spend the rest of your life studying, at least be neutral nutritionalized. I stretched, bending backwards to apologize to my back for the hours of arching over a desk. I would have been a hunchback by the end of my school career, I was sure. <sighs> you're right. I'll go. I'll see you at dinner. It was pretty late when I got to the library. No one came in at this time unless there was a term people to do. Since it was still relatively early in the year, the room was barren. Satch was working on the desk, as I expected, but he was joined by PBG and Paul. <laughs> Is Shane here? As soon as I saw them, I turned around trying to walk back, right back out, but... They, they saw you, didn't they? Hana. Hi! Totally didn't hear what you guys were talking about at your root club the, uh, just uh, earlier. <sighs> Fucking Shane. Unfortunately, my hair also made me stick out like a sore, th sore thumb. I reluctantly joined them at the counter. What's going on? No, nothing. I wasn't listening on any conversations. What conversations? <laughs> Not much. I'm taking a side break to return the book I checked out. I took the book out of my bag and handed it to Satch. <laughs> a book. I can't but notice you're reading The Prince's Betrothed. It's good, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I never would read those without such suggestions, so I have to thank him. He nodded and put the book on the to be sorted shelf. No problem. I don't work in the library for nothing. I have another suggestion for you if you need one. How to deal with assholes. <laughs> There's one. No thanks. I want to get back to the dorms. Oh, come on. It's almost dinner. Let me check out this great book for you. Then we can all go to the cafeteria together. <sighs> Well, alright. That was the last thing I wanted to do, but I was really bad at showing people that I didn't want to talk. Follow me to the fiction section. We set off to the library on an epic quest for adventure and fortune. My mind raced trying to think of a good excuse so I didn't have to follow them to the cafeteria. Here it is. The banana- The what club? The s I'm sorry? He pulled a bright yellow book off the shelves. The, man, the banana club was written across in bold font. Now I know it sounds stupid. It looks kinda stupid too, honestly. But trust me, one of the most moving books I've ever read. The ending crushed me. <laughs> Aww, that's cute. He put a fist into his mouth and blinked rapidly. Don't cry now, Satch. <laughs> I'm gonna stop before I spoil everything. Please do not spoil anything. <laughs> He handed the book to me, and I gazed blankly at the cover. Uh, thanks, Satch. Uh... And, uh... Hana? Hmm? 
Are you alright? You don't look very well. No, I just don't want to go to your little club thing if Shane is gonna be there. However, I will get to that in the next part. The X. Actually, uh, I, uh, saving here, actually. Don't look very well. Well, we'll get to that in the next part. See ya!